Yo. Yo. Hello, guys. Hello. Whoa, the boys are this here. Is going to be such a What's up? Matchup now. Did you just wake up, Sneaky? Uh, ah, like 40 minutes ago. 40 minute shower? That's that's pretty long, Sneaky. <laughs> May have been laying in my bed for <clears throat> a little bit longer than expected as huh. well. <laughs> laying in your bed? Mm-hmm. That's what I was doing too. I was laying in Sneaky's bed. Yep. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> wow. All right. Yeah, no, that's why we were both late. It's it's interesting. You guys both got on at the same time. Mm-hmm. Is that what happened? No. Yeah, I just I had a bender last night, and uh, you guys are gonna have to carry today because I was puking until like six a.m. Mmm. Yeah. Not a good time. Huh. Likely I... story. Double lift and partying doesn't sound right. <laughs> uh, actually, you're right. It was Sneaky's bed. I'm just yep covering it up. <laughs> the truth. I was actually hanging out in Medius's bed too, but he was streaming, so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, my bad. I, I missed you there. <laughs> I just realized it's Trundle Top. Oh my god, yep. it's a war. Holy it's shit. Battle. Flashes? Ooh, gets the flash. I'm getting Haunter versus Hooney vibes right here. This is this is what this is what Kevin used to play against uh Renekton Top. He used to play Trundle. Hmm. Because Trundle is just like the ultimate stat check as well. <clears throat> yeah. He steals your fucking AD. <clears throat> yeah, there's no like skill shots to dodge from Trundle. <laughs> what about the pillar? Yeah. I, yeah, the pillar, bro. The Huge dildo. pillar. <laughs> no, but like, he has like so much random stats. He gets attack speed, move speed, tenacity. Wait, does he still get tenacity on W? Or is that. Uh, no. Yeah. Just, Maybe he gets are. increased healing on his W. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, he, he like gets AD. He steals your AD. He yeah, it's, your it's a weird matchup because Renekton can't really use his E before Trundle Pillars, right? Because like, if you use your E. He just pillars you and beats the shit out of you. Yep. As we're seeing not. in Exhibit A. Wow. Uh, Hooney? Wait, wait, that pillar? <laughs> uh, I mean, he's dead. That anyway, was a yeah. really disgusting Trundle pillar. <laughs> he's dead anyway, though, but yeah. 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 It, was, it was obviously. I mean, dead. you can at least make him flash. Mm hmm. Huh? Okay, uh, I I think there's a world where you live there. Like, if you just pillar Diana off of yourself, like, put a pillar between you and Diana, then you flash. Even if she goes, if she flashes after you, she'll oh, still be slowed by the pillar for a bit. That's five. Wow, Poggers. Chime is gonna die here. Chime is a million percent dead. Yeah. A million percent? Oh, PoE! Oh! And Hold I got up. Wait, Licorice is actually so fucked. Yeah, they just smashed He just lost turret. five plates on top after getting a solo kill. And Iconic ran it down. Yeah. But I think... Yeah, this is going to be a Diana show. I This is TSM, like, is so fucking crazy ahead. I, 4K gold at 10 minutes. We, like, almost never see that. Yeah, that's a lot of gold. <laughs> Where is all of it? Is this top turret? It's just on Diana, right? Diana, and, and dude, on... she is so rich. Look at and her they, items compared and to Lost Voli. is yeah. Lost is huge. I actually missed it. How did um Chime die the first time? Oh, I guess it happened before I came. I didn't see it. Yeah, might have been first blood. Oh, he's just gonna get stunned in one shot here, right? So disrespectful. Oh, Wait, we couldn't even get the damage off. Yeah, it's actually a dirty dive. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit yeah. dirty. <laughs> Still no chance though. You, you know, this is some. I, I really like seeing that because there's something you see in LPL so much is the idea of like you dive them, but you don't have to all in on the first dive, right? Like, it's actually good to chunk them a little bit and then let the turret reset and then go again. Yeah. yeah. I, I think the LCS redive. does not do that kind of thing nearly enough. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, it takes a bit of finesse to not do sort of fail the heck in one go. You can clear it. Build too strong. That's actually the really awkward thing about like when you go to dive a lane, but that guy's not actually winning. Is like, yeah, well, they, they they're never gonna let right the there. wave get in. That's oh. where you need to be playing Rexai, so you just slide over that fat ass wall. 
Power of Evil doing the kick flash on Alistar. Let's go, bro. Flexus <laughs> mechanics. Reginald is going to be proud. <laughs> <laughs> you saw those tweets yesterday? He's subtweeting his his POE so hard, by the way. Like, it's actually yeah. crazy. Yeah. Like, That's just how it say felt, it, too. dude. <laughs> How would you feel Just if you're a player it. and your owner tweeted that? Wait, I, I literally that's what happened. Every time we <laughs> lose, like Andy was just like tweeting some random shit. <laughs> it's like, the fuck. <laughs> uh, to be fair, in this case, he has a point, but it's still not like good to to say, right? Like, yeah, I mean, it's not that he's wrong. Doors. It's just that it's super distasteful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that's how he like justifies doing it is because in this case he's right. You should be able to beat CLG with five Teemos if you truly want to be a great team. Right? Like, five Teemos. You T cannot just like blame draft and then just <laughs> throw your hands up and be like, oh whatever, we got outdrafted. I don't even really think they got outdrafted, to be honest. I, I think the community's kinda like has a weird perception because LCS is so bad sometimes at playing dive comps. Mm -hmm. But then when you look at like LPL and LCK People play dive comps, and if you're playing double AD carry against it, like, it's fucking scary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Must you know, that's actually one thing. I never down. see PoE int. He's probably the person on on TSM I'm least likely to see int. Maybe him in Lost. I... I have a quirky game I can show you. Ooh. Okay, okay, that one was pretty bad. But, like... <laughs> uh... Yeah, no, okay, you're okay, Never right. is a strong word. Uh, he, he's, like, really low chance gonna int, though. Yeah, definitely. Okay, like Sword Art is inting right now. Sword Art is. Wow. He's alive. Did that really just happen? Is he really just gonna live? Nah, he's dead. Okay, thank God. Ooh. Does, does Sword Art not know about the Alistair Leona thing where Alistair can press Q and cancel your Q and then he can headbutt you wherever he wants? That just felt like so disrespectful. Because you're never gonna kill Ali there. He has ult. He's just going in. He's just going in. Like, he doesn't care. Just gotta what do I it, really, bro. What I really like is when I see a Leo Alley matchup and they trade ults, and then on the second time around, you can actually kill him. Mm -hmm. That that's what makes a lot more sense. Uh, that's when I play like I play Varus or Ash. I think it's really good when you trade ults with Alley because his ult CD is like so long compared to yours. And uh, also, Alistair's just not like a human without his ult up. Yeah. True. He's a cow. True. He is, oh, he is a cow. <laughs> Do you think Alistar is sexually attracted to cows? Mm. Uh, yeah. Probably. He's got works. <laughs> Wait, this is actually is so twice? troll looking at it again. I don't know what yeah. sort of I thought was going to happen there. That feels like yeah. the only thing that could have happened. I don't like the way Licorice is using his pillars. I, I want to see him get a good pillar, because... Uh, uh, Trundle's definitely not, like, a hard champ to play. But his pillars are really, really impactful ability. You don't really want to waste it. Mm -hmm. A good pillar can just... Like, again, like, what? Loss is getting so big. Holy fuck, man. He's just hard splitting, taking everything, and... Varus cannot even lane. Yeah, he's That's down a lot. Yeah. Oh. What is PoE uh, doing? PoE's kind of in the middle of enemy territory right here, but dead he... there. Yep. Yeah. I don't even see what he was trying to do there. I don't know. There's just nobody on the enemy team. No one on his team ready to like make a play with him there. I don't know. He... Okay, I I should not have said that PoE doesn't int. That was a mistake. <laughs> That was... I mean, it's rare. Speech. Fucking happens, yeah, it I is. guess. I think Loss is going to want to this game, though. He's playing Kai'Sa against uh, Akali, which is pretty fucking easy. His team has four CC champs. It's so easy for him to, like, stack his plasma, like, hit W on Akali. Yeah, Kai'Sa's just a good champ this game. Farming up. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, he could just get one shot. But, I don't know, his team is really good. I think Kai's is really good at, like, surviving this kind of stuff. Yeah. Look at the 3k gold gap on ADs. Holy fuck. That's brutal, man. Yeah, there's... That's 3k? Brutal. 3k. 
pretty nuts. It's gonna get worse. I mean, I think Kaiser can literally one shot anyone now. Let's see if PSM does something that. Oh, very PSM tall. doing their favorite play, all grouping into the side lane. <laughs> uh, the oh. Dino ulti didn't really do much yeah, there. No one's yeah, really they dying. good Zonia. Yeah, no one's really dying. Oh, oh wow, dead. Trundle is actually so strong in these fights. It's He's so good against healing. Leona. He's healing so much. Look at his healing. <laughs> yep. His HP bar Next just like pillar. his so HP bar just like ping ponged so much there. Yeah. Well, you know how his passive works. Yeah, like yeah. His passive plus triumph. If somebody dies while he's standing in his W, he can get so much HP back. Even just minions. It was so, like, also Alistair's passive as like yeah. there's like so many like random things. Triumph, alley passive, his his like passive of frogging Tr Trundle was actually crazy there. No, he's got ocean Man, I, drag. I, I hate how TSM loves this play of just all grouping into the side lane. Like it can work, but it's one of the worst ways to start a fight. Oh, right to TP flank. Oh, Okay, actually, it looks, looks playable, looks playable. Golden oh. Guardians just needs to back out, I think. Oh, they're going to yeah. go forward. I, I think they're trying to throw here. I think they yeah. should just get I out. Think, yeah, you have such a big bank. Yeah, just, just take it. recuperate, spin your there's gold. Two things, there's two things I want to see here. One is, like, it, when PoE went in with Flash Kick, could Lost have just ulted in? Because he still has ult. He didn't use it. Mm. And, he's, and he's monster fed. And the second thing is, like, uh, yeah, there is some crazy bullshit with... Golden Guardian's frontline just healing so much. <laughs> if Loss is W there, time. Whiffs. if Loss has W there, I'm pretty sure Blaze all dies. That was actually really cool. He did. Oh do yeah, it. yeah. The Diana ult looked pretty solid, but it just didn't actually end up. Yeah, so right here can enough. Loss ult in and kill Stix, eh? Um, it it's, would be in the sketchy. middle of everybody. It's, I don't think sketchy. that looks too great. I mean, they're, they're I mean gonna, he would, he would an ult melee, right? He would he would ult on the other side, but yeah, mm. I think I see what you're saying. It would be it would be sketch. It would make like a lot of people die. I, I think, you know, almost everyone dies there. <laughs> <laughs> on, on I, I think it's possible though. Both like sides, if you do the the alt yeah. W thing, just one pop various real quick. Yeah. Oh. Cooney is just dead. Wow, Bonk. a blaze faker. Jesus. A just bonking Hooney. Uh, Hooney's having a really bad that game. That was like... really disrespectful by Hooney. He's got no MR. You've got no business being there. This guy is so ahead of you. It's not even yeah. a fight. You just it's just a slaughter. Yeah, we didn't yeah. see how it exactly started. Um, he could have just been in a really awkward spot and got caught. I I think he was just sitting in the push, wasn't he? I don't know. I I didn't see. I think Varus has been really underfed this game. Up until right now, where he actually has mirror mana. Yeah. They, they won that team he fight, is. and he like bought literally nothing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, he's been really useless. Double, the funny I know thing you is, said is uh, you you like Varus in a low econ situation, right? Like compared yeah, to most ADs. He... I, I was actually gonna say he, he's actually still really useful, even though he's really behind. Ooh. Right. Like imagine you're this behind and playing another AD carry. I don't like the way Golden Guardians is playing this. They're forcing way too hard for no reason. They got Sword Arts. Oh, didn't even get his flash. Or did they? I can't tell. I think they did. But uh, wait, I, I don't think the, the low econ thing's relevant here because it's not both 80s or low econ. It's like just various yeah. low econ. No, no, that's that's fair. I think I think various obviously like is. Like it's good to have a shit ton of money on him, but like when you are behind, he's he's definitely one of the better ADs at like still being able to deal damage and like do stuff, apply like a slow grievous wounds, fucking execute damage, ulti. Like all of his abilities are fine even when you don't have that many items. I mean, I yeah, think so it's just that's just, why I, I like him. I think it's kind of just his ulti, you know. Like I would hate being behind his Varus. Fucking awful. <laughs> well, if your team is ahead, or like I yeah. think has like the, the amount of gold you have compared to your team is what I would say for Varus. Like, oh wait, Huni just got damn blasted. Varus just did a Huni. Like, like, this is what I'm talking about. Varus is not balanced. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh wow, oh. Spika actually played that fight really well. Oh, sticks a oh. oh, let's go. Oh, that's a big oh my shutdown. God. That was like only Spika yeah, <laughs> in that fight. Oh wow, the dodge from fucking TSM. Holy shit, they're all walking up 1 HP. 
Yeah, Blazolov got popped that fight. I think if he if he was able to do one more rotation, everyone dies there. And yeah, like even though he was trying to ult it, I think this fight is like another example. Just it's just fucking stupid. He's down two levels from the enemy to carry. And then when Huni comes out of Zonia's, I actually thought if I was Stixay, I would have thrown this ulti on Sword Art on the right or the, sorry, the Q. Q. But he ended up hitting Huni, which was really good. And then yeah. the second Q, obviously, is also really good. But I don't know. Ooh, this I he was three go man Dora. ulti by Spika, he actually just like one shot a Blaze Olive. Yeah. I thought he was going to pop off here. I thought Spika was going to kill them all. Looked really close. Yeah, it, it was. It's another team fight where Lost in ulti. I just wonder if he's like missing the opportunity to go in. It's like. He's playing definitely little... playing it really safe. He's kind of a pussy. Uh, <laughs> that's it. Like, he's kind of a pussy. Oh, shit. Oh, dude, that's the Trundle start. ult on Leona. It's so brutal. You go negative and Trundle gets invincible. No, that, oh. the arrow goes wide. A Blaze Olive was, was too Ooh, far. Oh, a Blaze Olive. Uh -oh. oh, he got baited he's so hard. Yeah, yeah, he's fucked. Why do you go? Why would he's you go for that? Though. What? No way. Even if you kill PoE, like, he's out the fight. I That, that's... That's like that thing uh, High was saying about Triple, remember? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like if somebody's out of the fight and you're not and you chase them, you are trolling. Yeah, yeah of course you are. Oh, that oh, was kind of oh. cool. It's that flash, was kind of hot. Yeah, but now the speaker doesn't have flash. He needs to go around. I don't think they can he finish can it, in. unfortunately. Yeah, no, they, they don't have damage. They have fucking poke Varus. Can't finish. No, uh, I don't like the ulti. It was a bit of a panic. Yeah, just relax, man. They're gonna TSM gonna picks it up. Hit it. Oh, yeah, that's that's kind of that's kind of crazy. Enemy they do has... have a Kali ult back up, but a Kali's low. Is this real? I I don't think I, it's real. It doesn't look very good for TSM to hit, start a fight like this. Oh, a Blaze ult finally oh. dies to the W thing. Let's go. Yeah. She gets deleted. Licorice did get the ult on Leona. Uh, TS or er... yeah, TS. I'm just gonna hit it again. I, I now, li Trundle doesn't have all. Yeah, I think they have to. Yeah, yeah I, I think Golden Guardian should accept this one's gone. Without a Kali, they really don't have a way of winning this fight. Yeah, I, I don't want to see them try. Just run! They're, oh they're no! Too close. Oh, ah, yeah, no, give no, it's it. Fucked. Them getting Baron's not the end of the world. Them getting Baron and you all dying is a lot worse. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> If Iconic was going to go for the steal, you should have played on the other side of the wall. Yeah. But and him I, playing there just, like, makes everyone killable. Well, you know, he didn't have ult or flash. Oh, he didn't have ult? Oh, no. Then, then yeah. Then he's I don't even know why he's like there. 10. Like, you're never going to get the steal if you, if you don't have either mobility. Like, they're not going to let you in. <clears throat> Is TSM going to go for the end? Uh, I think they can, yeah. It's they, should, they should try, yeah. They can bait them to fight. Here. Like, all I want to see is Lost use W on fucking the Blaze Olive. It's so easy to win. Like, right here, off Zonia's, use W. Oh, he already, he already W'd too. Yeah. Okay, there oh. we go. Oh, he got hit by the Lee Q in his shroud. Same effect. Yeah. You know what's weird about Lee's Q with revealing is, like, it only reveals them until you take the Q. Once you take the Q, yeah, it doesn't then, reveal then them anymore. Then it, yeah, then they go invisible as you're flying at them. <laughs> Kick their ass, but you can't see it. Really him. weird interaction. Yeah. Yeah, it's these these fights are weird for both teams. Like, Blaze Olive just cannot go in by himself. Like, there's a time in front of Tier Two Siege where I just thought if Lost just used W on him when he goes in, and somebody's buffering his stun, it's like he gets stunned in his shroud, he gets revealed in his shroud, and then everyone chain CCs while he's stunned in the shroud. Yeah, that's, I want to see. That's what you have to do to play against Akali. You have to reveal her. He goes yeah, in. Akali needs to play more patiently. He's strong, so he probably feels like he needs to do some crazy shit in the fight, which is true, oh. but like, you don't need to be the first one that in. That was to do crazy, crazy what they're doing here. Somebody's a... Oh, yeah, that so was too crazy. Oh my oh, god. Shit. Is, is Licorice gonna die? Oh. No! Licorice is one HP for... Oh, oh my god. Oh, Diana oh, ult! Oh, there it is. is. That just cleans everyone. Hell yeah. We got a lot of salt. <laughs> the first ulti in. Yeah, kind of. He saved it. Ulti in. 
been saving it the whole game for that moment. Every ulti he did, the game was won right afterwards. So can you really say he had any bad ults? Oh, you're oh, right. Yeah, no Checkmate. So good. Spika just carried the shit out of this game, though, no? Yeah, he had so many huge giant ults. Yep. Slight hoarding tendencies. It's like a banana Wait, why, maker. why is Jenkins playing? Oh, uh, they Wait, tweeted what? it. Yeah, what? they tweeted it. They said Jenkins is playing today, and Alfari is playing tomorrow. Huh. Why? Is it because Immortals is free win? I think they want to switch between them. Oh, it's because they saw what Revenge did to Alfari that one time. <sighs> what do you do? The Aurelia versus Kennen. I don't recall. We pounded his ass. Hmm. There was a pounding? Okay. Yeah, he needs to get his revenge. I mean... I think it's so stupid, by the way, what they're doing here. What? The draft? The Jenkins? No, the, the, switching, the switching in and out. Yeah, it's so stupid. Yeah. Because all it's implying is that TL is going to split scrims between these two players instead of just committing to one and giving that roster the biggest shot possible at, like, winning. Instead, they're going to do this thing where they do this dance of like, oh, well, it's fair to both players, but it's like super unfair to literally everyone else uh, that like you are going to be. Oh, shit. Camille. Your team. Yeah. I mean, uh, EG is doing it, too, as well with Dennis now. We got Ziggs. Wow. TL literally has fucking the most Exodia comp ever now. Like, I, this is Bronze Zodia. I think it's going to be this Ziggs. Is... Bot, but yeah, actually, no, wait. So actually, it. Insanity does play Ziggs. Actually, I think. Oh play yeah, yeah, he had the Baron steal against TSM. Pretty sick. They could um, they could late. I, mean, swap, I would though. hate to play Immortals comp against oh. TL. Okay. What I like the Camille. Guys... I I think she's pretty fucking strong right now. Like, if you just do the like Sunder into Titanic build, yeah, it's pretty nice. I I I just think if. Playing Tristan Ziggs against Camille or a Jarvan or Jar Galio Nocturne, it's it's not a good time, and you really have to bank on like I don't know some sort of snowball lane pressure from somewhere. Because if the enemy team just gets to execute their comp, it's so simple, it's so easy. It's it's basically CLG's comp like reborn. Instead of Vi Galio, it's Camille Galio, and with like Ori as the ranged follow up as well. Really good. Mm -hmm. I think there's a really low chance like TL fails to play their comp out. The only way they could lose is if they get fucked in lane. Back back in like this first, I mean, up until very recently, basically, not even back in the day. So disrespectful to all chat. You would never do it. You're, you remember yeah. Diamond Prox? <laughs> yeah. Famous quote about that. What was it? No, what was it? You don't remember that? He got fucking in trouble in some qualifier where the other team, like, typed lol or something after a play. And he called them, like, unmannered retards and all <laughs> chat after that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Jesus. Now that you mention it, I do remember that. Whoa! Solo kill, solo kill! Oh my god. God. Ooh. Jensen, Jensen just fucking dies. Jensen just played with no respect. Is he not running Amaruns? Did he think he was against Higgs? No or sorry, way. not running He had so much time. He had 15 seconds. There's no way. I think Ori just has an incredibly low base. Uh, what is it called? Base armor. armor and MR. I'm so fucking bakey baked right now so it's fucking crazy. smoke dude i'm high as hell right now exactly. brother yeah who wins nocturne versus viego right here in the bush nocturne oh if it starts off with a stun like that that's obviously Vie it ended viego ended tp uh why did xerxes flash are you oh my god no way oh my no god no way this is happening. hold up wow guys he flashed away take the fucking l <laughs> take the l oh god dude you w dude it's not even an L if Nocturne flashes away. Just double crab his ass. Oh my god. Okay, he's out. Wow, almost oh! there. Oh, time oh! up. Yo, Sneaky, have you been hearing about this tech? I, I didn't even realize this. Uh, of like, 
80 carries running longsword three pots so they can run time warp and biscuits. Mm. Did you see that huge heal that Tactical got? It was like his summoner heal and time warp biscuit and potion. I want to try it now. Um, I mean, people were you running basically that get another regardless. heal that's like not. What's up? I said people were kind of running the time warp. Actually, no, they weren't really running time warp. There was biscuit and cosmic actually. Yeah, I haven't heard yeah, about that one. Yeah, it's because of like longsword three pot that like you're offsetting the downside of having like no HP from Dorans because you just get the instant the burst, healing whenever yeah. you want. Yeah. Hmm. Pretty interesting. Let's see what happened to Mr. Jensen. I mean, he's just disrespecting. Uh, yeah, he can't actually Sana. get W'd. If he's get, getting hit yeah. by the W, he's just fucked. Yeah, W does 95 damage level one, or is it 105? It's it's a lot. It's, it's a ridiculous amount of damage for a level one ability. Yeah, Destiny well, needs to use his abilities early here to get aftershock. That's why he dies. Oh my God, he Q nothing. That's it, all. Uh, core Core flashed away when the CC was over, so he had like timing like. Last millisecond of his CC, he flashes away. Destiny yeah, Q's but nothing. Core wasn't tanking. Like he has to CC the tanker, Blista. No, oh, Core, Core was tanking. Was tanking. Was he? Yeah. Okay. And he just flashed out and dodged the alley Q at the same time. Most games in LCS history. Ezri. Mm, I believe. Eleven CSD at fifteen. Oh, Jensen Zori is pretty legendary. Oh, that flash close. by Tactical was insane. Fuck? Oh, not dead. Holy shit. Yikes, man. Strange for IMT to use their pressure here on bottom lane. Oh. oh, wait, Core is. Oh my god. Oh, that was pretty hype. Hippity hoppy. Should insanity, should insanity not have just jumped forward there? That was like obviously yeah, perfect it, hindsight kind of play, but it, he he had the opportunity to just jump and stop Jensen from even getting back. Yeah, I feel like they had a triple kill. That here. was a huge miss opportunity from from insanity. He played like a psycho, and then he like missed the chance to play like a psycho. Right afterwards. Um. What? Wait, six just ulted Galio. Yeah, he tried to one. He tried to snipe him. Was he looking for call. Ori though? I mean, Galio gets the fucking know. passive shield, or the W passive. I guess on the bright side here, if... Oh, no, I'm not going to play for the plate. Unlucky. This play is so weird. Insanity does the... And then he should exhaust, right? Like, why would you not exhaust? You're getting a game. Destiny? It's like... De it's Sorry, Destiny, yeah. Yeah. If he does exhaust there, I think Tactical might die. Yeah, yeah. I've... And then, and then this is a point where... Insanity, it's a really chaotic fight, so I'm not like saying he he's like a dumbass for not I th doing this. I think he's... But he gets this kill, and then if he just jumps yeah. forward again, he's not in turret range, and he stops him from running away. That's a triple kill. The only reason so he I wouldn't could... is if yeah. you're scared of Nocturne. Yeah. So maybe they didn't see him yet? A... He just ends it's up showing top. Yeah, it's understandable. This is like This is like with perfect spectator point of view, and yeah, I think that's fair. Nocturne could, he could be jumping into Nocturne and just inting. Yeah, yeah. So, I, I don't... Yeah. That's not an obvious play. I, I do think the biggest mistake there is that Destiny, like, does the combo, it gets flashed, and he doesn't exhaust. Because, like, if he does exhaust there, he gets just walk up and press E, right? Like, he, he gets... He covers two things. He gets his flash, and then he, he'll get the stun off of his E because the guy's slow. But, yeah. He just kind of, like, ran away. It's very strange. Mm -hmm. The higher the contrast and the colors, the more easily you're gonna be able to see counting. like skill shots and like random shit that you would normally miss because of just like the chaos of the game. So that's why FPS players play at like super high digital vibrance and <gasps> contrast. Oh, so close. Oh. oh no, guys, you're getting baited up the asshole. Oh wait. <laughs> Whoops, I was way ahead looking at his pro view. I was like 30 seconds ahead. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm not a fan of how Immortals is playing this game. Like, I think the point of taking a lane like Ziggs is to have them be weak side. Like, Ziggs is not particularly good at forcing or following up on plays. Yeah, they're hard let forcing clear. into Callista. And, and you look at your top side. Your top side is so strong. 
I think it's really strange that they keep trying to force down here. I think that's a big mistake. Yeah. Just throwing away their advantage and getting TL more fed. Yeah. I wonder how much of the comms, like, Immortal's Fallen is actually taking up, because, you know, th this is a game that should be narrated by top and mid. Top and mid are smashing. Top and mid have all the options. So top and mid should be the ones communicating about, like, what they want. Ooh, that was pretty fancy by Insanity. Gale forces the Galio engage and then chumps the Oriolt. Yeah. Juicy. The Oriolt is insanely easy, though, by the way. Yeah. It's like Looks cool, server though. spell shield as well. Those kind of oh things. Dude, fuck. this top matchup is getting so bad. Yeah, he just lost his turn one we on. I, I don't know what Camille can do here. Like, this looks so fucking unplayable. Two levels down. Kind of... There must be Camille something can... about the matchup that we don't know or that that they don't know, right? Like they, they <laughs> must have had experience playing this matchup and they think it's good. But like from the outside it looks like shit. Getting yeah. Pounded. I mean if they're both not earning flash with Ignite, it's gonna be snowbally by nature, but uh -oh. it's just the range difference. Oh it's a flash in. Good. Oh. This is a good kill. That's really important. Shutdown, right? Or no shutdown, just 300. Yeah, yeah, that that's very good for XP as well. Two levels yeah. down, guy. <laughs> Being all that. Yeah. Wait, Kuss yeah, is going wit's end. Ooh. Full tank build. I like it. Yep. Wit's end is such a crazy item. I, I actually... I'm a fan. I want to see it. We're probably going to go so Rage damage. Blade third, too. Yeah. And then it's he's actually double proccing. Yeah. Juicer damage. I never played the original. I, I don't know. To me, it's the same, but I just got tired of it. It's kind of like mm. Earth. Like, I like Earth, and I, you know, I would play it, like, every time it was up. Then, after a while, I just got over it. I think in Nexus salt. Splits, I, I don't like the jungling. I wish they just had, like, no jungler in Nexus Splits. I think that would be way more fun than two junglers. Let's see. Oh my god, a tornado. Yeah. Immortals is down quite a bit, and if they lose this fight, they lose the game, so... And they're down bad. I, I don't like when the team that has river control is just all showing like this. Like, when you're when you're walking into river, what's really important is if you, like, can get eye contact with them and see all five. In this case, Teal got that instantly, right? Like, Teal doesn't have to worry. Teal is actually the one in the better position now with Jenkins on the flank right here. I think Ziggs is playing this really badly. Uh, he is not actually zoning. He's not playing to his champion. That, they're just going to get it, guys. Just... Okay, zero man Oriole T. They get it. Oh, just, just open. It's uh, over. Bye-bye. Yeah, this game's nice. done. Wow. I mean, that, the, the Ziggs play is like... It's like playing Victor and then just hiding behind your whole team. Whereas, like, when they play these champions that have zone control, it's kind of like Jensen. Like, they have to be playing forward and dropping it and controlling the area. Like, you can't just be sitting back and waiting for the fight to start, because then you just lost, like, half the reason you picked the champ. Mm hmm Yeah. But this is Raze, who is, like, one of the more passive players, and it's an AD carry playing six. So, I have, I have I low just... expectations either way. I think what they should have done with this draft was they put Insanity, insanity on six, and then he and can just... Put bot. Yeah, they just put him bot. Yeah. Hmm. But if Ray's can play mid, that'd be good. Oh, Ooh, huge steal! Huge steal, guys. That's totally gonna change something. This, this changes play. the fates. Holy fuck! Wait, this Sand actually Sand could be a win. Jensen. That's so sad. It'd be yeah, a win for Rose. Yeah, still up. Okay, never mind. They are very low, but I don't think TL can chase here. Okay. All right. Well, actually, the Nocturnal kind of fucks it up. <laughs> the fucking vision. I think this one's uh pretty lost. Yeah. But like I, I see what you're saying. Like I think I think like there's an argument yeah. to be made for both. I just think for winning this game, like, yeah, maybe yeah. if you think about six items, sure, but like winning this game now. 
All right, let's see yeah. if Ziggs uh, presses E. If, if the whole purpose is to win the game right now on this Elder, I agree. I think Horizon is way better than Void. I really hate Raze right I'm trying now. Trying to understand his mindset here. Raze Why is, is he not using his E, by the way? Ac he's actually so bad. <laughs> Literally the worst player I've ever seen play Ziggs. It's actually disgustingly Zonius. cringe. Has he even cast his E in this fight? No. No, he didn't. Even when he... Did he scale it up? I don't Do we know so. if he has his E leveled? I don't think so. Huh. This is too funny. It was Normally so I see we'll cringe. take him for level 15, but... Actually physically cringe, what I just saw. <laughs> yeah. They, they have no idea how to play... I mean, Ray's personally and as a team have no idea how to play Ziggs. And this is one of those things that I hate so much when I see teams just pick something because they saw someone else do it, but they have no actual idea how to play it. Yeah. Because this is just fucking soul losing yourself a game. I feel like Immortals should have won this game off of what happened topside. But they just used all their time and pressure running it down bot lane. I mean, Ziggs Alley is literally one of the worst fucking lanes in the game. If you're actually going to play this shit, then you're, you're a godsend if you can just not lose your turret. And they were not losing their turrets, so just play topside. Also, um... This is time to phone in Apollo Price. I mean, this guy was the OG Ziggs AD carry player. <laughs> I, I would love to see Get Apollo, Apollo on the LCS. Phone. And sneaky and double funny. lift. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good one, dude. The AD carry boys. Magma Golem? Uh, it's Magma Golem. I play on a bunch of different accounts. Oh, really? Yeah. Meteor is the what one is I play the, the most on, but... Haven't been playing much recently. 179. Okay, so you play 250. I play like 550. Sneaky said like 750. Interesting. interesting. Freak is piss, is he? I was pissed. That fucking Ziggs play. Jesus, man. That was pretty dirty. Yeah. Like I said, it'd be the same thing if there was a victor in the game just not using his abilities. Like, if you go back and watch that uh, PoE victor game, the other day, I was praising him for his zone control. Like, he was doing the exact thing that the Ziggs should be doing. It's like, you just lay down your E anywhere, a Ziggs. It doesn't matter. It's just in the river. And then you throw your Q in the spot where your E isn't, right? Because they have to not walk into your E or they're just getting shit on. And then it's yeah. way easier to actually land your Q. And then they're just dodging the whole time. And they can't just move forward for free. That's literally the problem. It's like, he's not using his abilities to zone. He's just waiting till the fight starts to start throwing shit out because he's scared of dying. And you can't play like yeah. that. I mean, would it have even been bad if they just had Ziggs go mid and Tristana bottom if Raze can't play mid lane? Like, do you get... What's the advantage you get out of Trist going mid and Ziggs bottom? Because the bomb matchups seem bad as hell. Uh, yeah, I mean, that would, that would be better matchups overall anyway. I just think Insanity should have played Ziggs, yeah. Regardless of where Ziggs is actually going, physically. Yep. What subreddits do you go on sneaky? Like, naked uh, people. I mean, I check the league one. I'll check like whatever game I'm playing. I'll check like live stream fail. It's mm. kind of that's kind of gone it. wild. <laughs> yeah, gone wild. Do you remember high? <laughs> remember high subreddits you would go on? I, I, it was some weird shit. What was it? It was like. So many different oh, variations dude, of actually, like Asian girls and stuff. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say during scrims, you're just browsing fucking <laughs> like girls. <laughs> what the fuck? You, you know that was actually the fun. Crown did the same shit. Like no joke, he would like every day during scrims, he would just have open a stream of like uh, something on Africa that was just like girls dancing and shit. He would just be staring at that all day, every day. Like no joke. Did you guys ask him why? Did you guys ask him, like, why he likes that? Yeah, and he'd just be like, I like it. <laughs> and he would, like, be really into it. He'd be, like, staring at it. That's so funny. Yo, like, I heard that, I heard that sword art. I heard that sword art does the same thing. What is it with it in the, these fucking horn dogs? Sword art apparently, like, watches hella YouTube videos of, like, uh, Asian girls vlogging. Nice. That's what, that's what huh. I was told. It's like he's a little too into it. He's just glued there watching her vlog. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, guys, let's be it, honest, it doesn't hurt players. me if he's doing that. But... I mean, there's, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just funny. Nah, it's just funny as fuck.
I mean, yeah. I, I, I remember on TL, I would look over uh, my teammates. I'm not going to name who. I'm not going to name who. But there oh. were two of my teammates. And I would look at their uh, with two monitors, right? On their second monitor, they have their Twitter feed. And it's the same Asian girls posting selfies on both their timelines. So I'd look over oh. and say, I'm seeing double. Because they're following the same like random Twitter like, e-girls posting <laughs> selfies. They're liking the same girl's selfies. I'm like, don't you guys have any shame? Like, why, why? Like, if, if like, one of you guys likes it, like, you, the other one's still going to like yeah, it, too? Yeah, they're both like, liking it. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you're just down bad, dude. <laughs> no, no, they are so down bad. It was bad, dude. We were always dogging on them. We're like, okay, like, who, who's the new one this week? Like, the girls. We're always checking their follow list to see if, like, it's growing. Yeah, the girl's just like, damn, I guess TL's just really into me. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Did you ever the, do the thing where you like go seen... through your teammates' uh, likes on Twitter, especially oh, uh, uh, all the time? Dude, going through <laughs> someone's or, like a thirsty dude's likes on Twitter is some of the funniest shit you can do. <laughs> oh, dude, it's so fucking it's funny. It's so funny. They will like posts. You know when a guy is down bad for a girl when they're liking posts that don't. They're so shit. The post is so bad. It's just like woke up late today like slept in it's like who gives a fuck <laughs> or like it's just like a random post about like something that they just like i oh, just got some dinner it was so good not even like a picture of it they like uh -huh. that like like you would only like those garbage ass tweets if you wanted to get in there <laughs> i it's true it's true i have some and insights I know for you, you i think they there, are so trying to get pretend. in there don't even pretend that you haven't liked a tweet like that before and then play the name him with her mm -hmm. i mean well, what you do when you're single is, uh, you know, doesn't need to be brought up later. No. You know, we all do things that we're not proud of. <laughs> Sometimes it happens. I, for one, maintain that I have never solo queued an ARAM, and that's all I'm going to say. <gasps> what the fuck? You monster. Dude, any time that my friends are... That's the thing, I was, I was actually... <clears throat> I was actually uh, making fun of Speaker once because I, I, I was like seeing he's like hella playing Aram, like who with? And then you have to look at who they're playing with and who who's like has the most feminine username. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the girl. Like, and then if there's the ever any question of it, you go and look at their profile and it's like you can instantly tell based on their most play champions if they're a guy or girl. Ninety nine point nine percent of the time. Oh, yeah. If it's like most play champion, it's like Doctor Mundo or Trindamir. I Dude, fucking bet my life. Guys on are like Yasuo, Lucian, Ezreal almost yeah. every time. Girls will be like Lux, Sona, Morgana, or something. Yeah, like the, the cute champs. I think I've seen some girls have like uh, a lot of dude champs played. Yeah, I mean, I think yeah, becoming... I'm not saying it always happens. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I think it's like but this is definitely a not... lot of the time. This is definitely not to like come off as you know like i just instantly like fucking believe that all girls are exactly the same that would be insanely sexist but in season one there was a tournament for girls it was called girls for law because there's a go it was go for oh law, yeah yeah uh, you uh -huh. know for, for uh, co-ed and the t the two teams that played in the finals they got to the finals and they were playing like their comps was like lux akali um morgana kale and they got to the finals <laughs> the top lane matchup <laughs> was Urgot versus Trindamir. <laughs> and I was like, and all of a sudden, their champ pool has completely changed. It was so obvious that everyone had gotten, like, their guy friends to play on their account for the finals, because now there's, like, money on the line. Oh, it was uh -huh. so fucking funny, and it turned out that Didn't Chouster, Chouster played do on... that? Yep, Chouster, Chouster got busted. He's like, yeah, it was me and my friends from one of the teams. Like, And they're, like, they're like saying, like, oh, we only did it because we knew the enemy team was going to cheat, too. Like, uh, that's, that's yeah, not yeah, fair. Yeah, that's why win. everyone does bad shit. They're like, yeah, everyone's doing it. Like, you have to. <laughs> The, the mid matchup was like fucking like Vagar. Like, who was what girl was playing Vagar at the time? <laughs> it's funny. interesting. I actually heard a stat from from a rioter who said like, there's almost no girls. Well, I mean, okay, maybe not almost no, but like overwhelmingly what? girls do not like playing melee champs. Dude, that's just uh... like a fact, which is interesting. And through like a lot of girls I've met, it is does seem to be true. How like, many, obviously, how many not pretty everyone. girl champs are melee though? There's not that many, are there? There's like Gwyn is the newest one, right? It's I guess Katarina. Yeah, Katarina. But yeah, I mean even like just gameplay though. 
I don't think a lot of girls play Ribbon, because she's kind of hard to play. I feel like girls care much less about... Because, like, Ari is really hard to play, right? But she's super common. I think girls are a lot less about... I mean, like, people. I, I fucking... Wait, wait closer just die? Die? <laughs> Did closer just pull a Jazuke? Yeah, he just ran it down. <laughs> that was Sneaky, fucked you're up. Just, you're just so sexist right there. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> Riven? You, you're, <laughs> just because a champ is hard to play does not mean that a girl is gonna is not gonna play it, bro. Like what? No, I mean people don't play Riven because like, she's so hard. hard to play. Girls will never play her. Like no, was... I didn't say that. I said Riven's hard to play. Not many people play her. So like, why oh, why would girls oh, go out oh. of their way to play a pretty champ that's hard? Like, I, I don't think Ari's oh, that hard. Because they like her. I think Ari's pretty hard. I, I mean, I mean, yeah. The the thing that I was told was it was something about like you know just the nature of like you know there are some biological differences between like you know guys and girls like obviously not everyone but generically it's like you know girls are much more likely to be like have a Wonderful. nurturing nature guys are going to be more like aggressive meatheads Hot tub yeah that's, that's just with that's just uh and... what's it called why, why am i not losing the red uh, hormonal difference yeah yeah oh dead as fuck is this game's like so fucking weird, by the way. Oh, oh the Aphelios flashing into Aphelios and <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty funny. Yeah, I, I don't think the, I've seen that before. I thought the root was down because the other Aphelios just rooted. The real Aphelios. I thought that uh, Danny was gonna kill. I I want him to play it from the start because who he should have died if Danny has root and the hook. When Thresh Aphelios hits a hook on a squishy, that person should die like ninety nine point nine percent of the time. So watch this hook. Danny has root, right? He just got it. Oh he, my he, god! He, couldn't. he yeah. was one bullet away from killing who he did. Yeah, it just swapped. One bullet. Holy fuck! If he could just re if he could just switch guns one auto sooner, it was it was killed. Ooh. It's so sad, man. And that just goes to show you, like, playing a Felios is actually it's kind of an art form in lane. Like, you need to switch your gun fast. It's already four minutes. He should have his. He should have his green, or he should have his purple gun by now, and his like flamethrower will come up eventually. Yeah, you can play to pump and dump more, eventually. Yeah, you just need to pump your red gun as soon as possible, because <laughs> when you have a green and root gun, it's really strong for laning, and then when mm -hmm. the green switches to flamethrower, it's also really good. Hmm. All oh, right. Oh. Oh! Wow, that actually hits. Wow, that that flash. Hold on, I I just realized max, there's an orn in this game. When was the last time we saw an orn? Dude, never. <laughs> Yo, I, I, you think we're gonna see the fucking Viego orn interaction in this game, where like you become orn and you upgrade teammates' items? Dude, I, someone that tried that crazy. in a game and it it didn't really work. Like I think you can start it, but it's like it's super buggy, slash slow as fuck. Like you have to leave combat. Yeah, it's. I don't think you even have time to actually have it happen. I mean, maybe at the very end of a team fight, you kill Orn last, and then you wait, wait, wait. You take his soul, and then you upgrade someone. Because then you're yeah, kind that, of that's already. honestly like yeah, like you hold on the soul. Uh huh. It it does seem like it's something that like yeah. if you can do, it's worth going for. Oh, because like getting that masterwork item without having an Orn on your team is crazy. Mm hmm. Did you see the Aphelios changes that they're trying to make him into more of like an AD caster? No, I didn't. Yeah, well, oh. I did not see that. That's what this definitely does, though. Yeah, this I mean that goes like, off with double fisting. I, I saw it on. It was on Mort Dog's Twitter yesterday. Mort Dog, uh, it's the TFT guy. How do you know that? <clears throat> yeah, they're they're making him go from 90 max mana to 150 max mana. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> you motherfucker! It was related. <laughs> oh shit! A little troll face. Oh, wow! So shit. It wait, out. wait. The ulti glitched out. Oh my out. god! The, Did I it? would remake that. That was so bugged. What the fuck happened? You mean like he didn't get pushed, right? He didn't get pushed and he can't move. I, if I was Yuzuka, I would call for remake. 
He just took like thirty turret shots right there. No, it's because the it's because the Azil yeah yeah pushed him. Like he actually should call for remake there. I mean, is it remake the whole game or Chrono Break? I mean, but like he did, then he Chrono doesn't break. get the kill. I, I don't know. No, it's no, no, like worth. I I I think his teammate gets the kill anyways if he gets pushed away. But like, imagine Jizuka gets pushed away by the zero ulti, then he lives right. He just gets pushed away and Diana finishes the kill. And the other option is. Well, I'm saying like if they remake. Abadag is just going to yeah, back up and not die. Yeah, Abadag is going to back off. Like, they need to play this because he doesn't get pushed, but he gets blocked. That's what's fucked. Yeah, we can see it That's again That's for here. sure above. Yeah, that, that was weird. Oh, oh they're not oh. going to play it. Oh, actually, he's low as fuck. Yeah. Danny, Danny was counting him. him. Slamming his dad. So, what level on Aphelios do you get your E lethality maxed out? Is it maxed right now at 12? Yeah, it is right now. Okay. Yeah, you can just do. Oh wait, no, sorry, it's six six six. So yeah, it's twelve. I'm trolling. Okay. Yeah, you because it's twenty seven lethality there, and then the collector lethality. So you're actually doing such an insane amount of damage to. Uh, yeah, to squishy. I think it's it's ridiculous. I mean, he's doing. Yeah, close to. I actually damage. think that's a pretty cool niche for Aphelios, like the lethality eighty carry. Mhm. Mm it's not really any. AD carries like that, is there? He hits hard as hell right now. Ooh, wow, that was nice. Yeah, Guys, that, Gale Force is balanced, or that what? Was also super griefed by FBI, too. <laughs> yeah. Ste yeah. Stepping up into a grab gun, like, the grab gun had, like, fucking six bullets left, or some shit, right? Yeah, I yeah. mean, it, it obviously was a big mistake. It, it I he haven't seen that think, before. He didn't think about Gale, and he probably dies there to Orn LT, to be fair, anyways, if he gets slowed. So it was grief either way. Even uh -huh. if Aphelios doesn't have any CDs up there, like, he'll get slowed, and then he'll get grabbed, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was pretty troll yeah. from FBI. Like, like right look, here, look Impact, how, look yeah, how greedy yeah, it has that path nothing is. To, it actually has nothing to do with Gale Force. Like, I, I take it back. Yeah, like, he was yeah, probably hit with that. He got it. Lulu sped up and thought he could run through really quick with the Lulu speed. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah he's griefing. Yeah, that was really greedy. Pretty huge to die and lose your sums like that on COG. Mm -hmm. Danny Phantom is doing so much damage right now, man. I want to see his sniper Q hit a squishy and see the damage. Yeah. If he gets a crit, he's fucking dead. It's actually really interesting like to see the how how like each different Aphelios player would want certain guns in certain situations. Because like, in my mind, enemy team is really outranged, right? So red-white, while normally it would be like really strong, is completely useless in this game. I, mm -hmm. I never want to see him have red-white, because then he's just going to spend the whole fight trying to just get melee on them and never actually getting there. Uh -huh. So he, I like I like the sniper. I like, uh, I like grab, because obviously rooting somebody who's squishy is like... Yeah, he's he seems, gonna he have seems to kind of have a handle on it. He's going to have blue-green blue here. Okay, Ooh, closer no, is no steal. Gonna flash out, at least. Doesn't... Oh, Ooh, that was a big one. Oh. Doesn't look. Oh my god, Abba Faker. It's not enough. It's not enough. Yeah, no, they just lose. They just Hold lose. up. They just lose. Danny Phantom. Oh, <laughs> sneaky. Actually... Are you sure that collector's not good? I don't know about How that. How did they girl. just get wiped so bad? I thought that looked decent for Hundred Thieves, but it was a that ended man... horribly. It was a four man or ulti, and then it was a really fat Aphelios ulti. Yeah, I need to see the Aphelios again, because, like, Diana didn't have ult for that, because she used it on Viego. It was just Aphelios damage, I think. Yeah. On the do or what? Oh my yeah. goodness. Yeah. Tactical nuke. I don't know about this one, guys. What, was, it a, was it a blue ulti? Did he just... Yeah, it was a, it was a flame ulti. <laughs> yeah, it was, I mean, no, like, it, was... the ult only hit, like, Lulu and, like, a slight hit on Kog. All right, I'm, I'm only watching Aphelios this time. Yeah, it was a big one. I think he's just auto attack the other guys. Yeah, maybe, maybe they just died to autos. That's true. That root on Abadage really helps set up there. He gets scooped here, and then he presses R insta. Boom. He gets yeah, two. Okay, know. that, that uh, literally one shot Lulu, by the yeah, way. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you should be going any attacks out of second auto fellows anymore. <laughs> Holy fuck. Actually, just one shot Lulu yeah. and almost killed Kog. Yeah, that's, that's insane. Bad. Wait, it doesn't even do that much damage, though. That's weird. Something else. I mean, I think it's just the auto attack component 
built in with it. Like, yeah. Well, I mean, it has it has the added benefit of like hitting them both twice because they're stacked on top of each other. I think he actually got an auto in on a on Lulu. Like, I think he autoed okay. with the ult too. Yeah, he did. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Then he gets a fat overkill because he saw his Gale, so he could like if he if Lulu did manage to live somehow, then he could like Gale auto again. Yeah, because like I feel like his ult only does damage when it actually crits. Because then it's like, oh shit, he does damage. And I think that's the stupidest part of it. It's just like RNG that whether your weird. ult does damage or not. Mm hmm Yeah. They should make it like all other crit scalings, like Zaya and Trist, where it's like the your crit chance just increases the base. Increases yeah. the damage yeah. to the ult. crit itself. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, it's weird that he's not going because like you don't normally see people going too lethality items on Aphelios. Oh my god, are you seeing what's happening there? Woo! Oh, is it oh. back dead? He's so close. He's out. Oh my god. Perfect calculation by impact. He's out of there. I, one thing I'll just I will say about Danny is like I don't know it's, he seems like one of the best one of the better like new players to split. One of the best. damage auto splash on his ear. Yeah, he's pretty minutes to 1k right now. It, if he had lower doms, that would have done so much damage. It would have been true. It's, yeah, maybe like plus forty. Holy it's fuck! Almost the same on, it's almost the same on his ear, bro. Right He's now. got his own, yeah. True. Yeah, but Danny has like eighty lethality. So almost. Warren eight, has forty-two hundred. He does not have eight. eighty lethality. Eighty lethality. He's like 50. he has forty. He has forty-five with collector, right? Because he gets twenty-seven plus eighteen, and he gets eighteen more. So he's actually sorry. He's at seventy-three. So he's hmm. not quite eighty. Oh, was that math right? Yeah, he gets twenty-seven, right? Forty-five plus eighteen, seventy-three. <laughs> Sixty-three. I have. I don't know. I'm, I'm hungover, guys. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I'm hungover. Just open. Oh my god. Dennis I mean, it's is still a shit ton. Oh, Papa dog is, is dead yeah, too. Dennis is dead, but he's buying a lot of time. Yeah. He's buying so much time. Oh my god, he almost won against someday on the Ooh. other side. Woo! Danny Phantom. Oh, he's got the room. Get him, fuck Danny. With Danny Phantom. Do not fuck with Danny Phantom ever again. Bonk, 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 bonk. Oh, they give him up. Oh! Oh! Infernal Soul Thresh. Slap oh! him. Oh! Let's go. That was an insane hook. That was a game winning hook. Dude, your EG beaning Hunter Thieves Slap prediction came dead. right, Medios, in your show. You did, the, you did the one first because you knew. Yeah, yeah. I knew it. Except Dennis didn't play Diego. True. <laughs> he should have said Diana. Mm -hmm. Dude, you think they watch the show and they're like, fuck, we can't let Dennis have Diego or the. <laughs> fucking. The preview of the show? <laughs> that was a lot of damage. Aphelios actually does so much damage with this build. Lucky. 100 Thieves 02 so far this week. Is this Are they Giga Wash? Three weeks? Yeah, I think uh, yeah, that's the only conclusion. I think 100 Thieves washed up. Full washed. The only AD carries up is like Samira, Zaya. Yeah, there's so many bands. <laughs> yeah. I do like Sammy. I I would like, I would play Samira here, yeah. It's pretty good against Zaya. Yeah. You have two opportunities. Oh, Kais is open too. That's a pretty solid pick, but not not good with two eighty carry. Actually, I uh, I don't really like Kaiso when you're running double eighty. I feel like I, I have no job. Like my 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 mid laner wants to kite, but I want to go in. Oh yeah. And we kind of both fill that mid range of like five hundred range auto attack, so we're both gonna get cleaved by anything that hits us. <laughs> that feels shitty. They pick I feel like it's good when there's like a range difference between your mid and AD because like you can play off each other where like one person gets jumped but the other guy's safe and able to hit the whole time. Yeah, so. I feel like it is weird having both on the same team. Hold on, be back one second. Yeah. There's a few things I don't like about both drafts. Like I don't like the Kaisa on C9. I don't really like the Renekton from Dig. But if I had to pick one. Probably go for C9's comp is better overall. There's a bit of a CS gap 
spot too. Yeah. It's, it's just guess mid and bot. I thought Kaiser wasn't that strong in lane. Uh, I think she's better in lane than Zaya. Uh -huh. And to be fair, it's only 10 CS. I think Leona is just a lot of early pressure. Leona just like shits on Braum early because, you know, starting at like level two, you just can never let yourself get uh, get eat by Leo. That's a, that's the shittiest part about playing against Leo is if you have like the a support that doesn't have a good interaction against Leo, like for example, Alistar or even Nautilus to market, then uh -huh. you just Futures like market. you have to respect. Yeah, if you, you have to respect her E range all the time. I think a lot of people when they first play bot lane, like Leona's like the most annoying champ to play against because like her E range is deceptively long, and you have to play like a lot more further back than you kind of expect. And if you do get hit, it feels so unfair because you will never win the trade. Leo just... She's so so sticky. By herself. Yeah. You you can't... One thing that like really fucking blows is you can't ever hit their AD carry back because Leo just sticks on you and keeps stunning you. So the only thing you can really do is run. There's no like trade back damage where you like get some random shots in. You have to fully run. Yeah. So when you play Leo and you get on the enemy to carry, just oh my God. stay melee on him forever. Wait. Oh shit. Oh. Oh, blabber. Wait, they actually oh, died and there. And he's just gone. Damn, that was a sick flashpoint. Wow, nice rumble ult. Ooh. I think I'm hella slightly ahead. ahead of us. Yeah, I'm hella ahead. <laughs> yeah, dude, that that was a sick flash by Neo. Counters. Yeah, played to him. Any counters? This is also something that I talked about like really early uh, yesterday on C9's game is like it feels like Leo is such an unfair advantage for any early fights. So you should you can kind of face roll early fights like you don't even really need to think you can just fight mm -hmm. as long as like so you're tanky. Yeah, because like they played against Leo and I was like, there's no way they're going to win this river fight. The enemy has Leona. They have Nautilus. Nautilus hooks someone. Uh oh, Leona just face tanks everything and just melts uh -oh. him. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's uh -oh. a no E. Okay. No, he's chilling. There's three top. Yes, to flash. Yeah. So oh, much blustering in, in this game. No, Wait, he's Blabber's dead. Just Blabber. Dead. Wait. Blabber just... Wow. Good oh, escape wow. there. Oh, nice TP by Still Perks. Dead. Still dead. Oh my god. I think it's looking doomed. It's looking. Oh, oh my god, Acadian. Oh, oh my god. Acadian goof that hard. Wait. Holy fuck. Thought he could make the hero play, man. He just needed to wait a second. That was so sad. Yasui had TP for that. Maybe he didn't have a good spot to TP into. Uh, yeah, there was probably nothing around. Like, he he walked up. Maybe he was down. Nope, it was I up mean, the, the whole time. The TP ward is that pink ward right there, right? It's not good. It doesn't look good. Oh, Leona's on top of him, that's why. Mm. Uh, that's you. I see. Oh wait, dude, I, I'm pretty sure he just tried kicking Leona into perks too, mid lane. Look, oh. Leeson used his kick. Yeah, uh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if Acadian played a little bit more patiently, then Fake God would go in again with like max rage. Just a little too, too crazy flashing into Lucian Q. Oh well. Wait, what was time a little again? too Suska. I uh... a little too Suska. <laughs> wow. Of course, man. <laughs> what even happened? What if a pro Eclipse? player did that? They actually just did some like troll as fuck build like that. If Perks fl no, 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 he shouldn't flash. I'm trolling. Wait, hello? Oh, oh? Wait, wait. Hello? No. No, no, oh, no, 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 God. no, 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 Balls no, no, is turning no, over in no. his grave at that one. Oh, my. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, Did he get the fucking no. the start of the slow from the ult? Yeah. Uh, is that not one of those situations where you'd just want to ult first anyway? You want to ult first, get his dash. I mean, his... you you, you want to at least wait till you overheat before you go for that like all in type thing he went for. He he <laughs> did it without overheating, and then he <laughs> alted horribly. Oh, he used Jolin. Jolin one. 
and one coming up. Whoa. Uh, uh, wait. That okay. was a fucking sick play. <laughs> wait, Renekton died too. Who's the owner of Dig? Can that guy tweet about how the players don't know how to mechanically play their champs? <laughs> he took that KDA player criticism to fucking heart with that play. <laughs> you call me a KDA player, I'll fucking show you! <laughs> Yasui is just not impressive. <laughs> In fact, he's pretty just weak. Did it's you guys aggressive. did you guys watch uh, the game yesterday where he got to level 60 on Cassidy and threw the game? Uh, yeah, we did. It was juicy. I actually stopped streaming because I didn't want to watch, but I end up catching the end when he hits like level 16. He gets a solo kill on Jensen. The game is really, really good for them now. And he just throws. Yeah. I mean, it's like, dude, I your think whole a lot team is counting on, on you. I mean, like, his ult under the turret was troll for sure, but, like, his team starting the fight and making him TP there was just as bad, in my opinion. Yeah, that's true. But the team, yeah. I, I can understand that. I think, you know, the team is counting on him to, to play extremely well because they've had to play with a huge disadvantage the whole game. Because mm -hmm. they've had to play with a Kassadin, who's just taking resources, which is fine. Like, I think the win condition of playing Kassadin... I'm, I'm pretty open-minded. Like I think, sure, you know, if you think you can stall the game out against TL, TL's a pretty slow team. Okay, level 16 Cassidy, it's pretty good win con. But it's like, damn, the team bought you that much time, and then you just griefed it away like that. Fucking feels so bad. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty dirty. I, 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 I was like, oh, they're not gonna be able to pick it up. She. Well, they fine. got 100 gold. That's fine. 100 gold and a decent amount of XP. Um, that's the one thing that miss is missing a lot of time. People are really prioritizing like the really basic macro of like getting top river for Baron control, but they don't care about pushing top in deep. I think pushing top into tier two is what makes Baron so scary for the enemy team because then you're getting pushed in top tier two and you're getting pushed in mid. So you don't have anyone free to help. Like, nobody is, like, available to face check with you on Baron. Mm -hmm. oh. oh. Oh, big one by Blabber. That was thick. No, Yusui's a, Yusui is a oh. fucking vegetable. He can't do anything here. Oh. Pretty solid rumble. It doesn't matter that Neo is oh. just fucking faker. They're going to lose. Yeah, it's, it's over. C9 gets dra drag off of Neo's death timer. It's really unlucky. Uh-oh. 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 Uh-oh? Uh-oh! I think he's out. Oh. Wow. Damn. Wait. Sven's going in? Uh -huh. Oh, Sven went kind of crazy there. Huh. Uh, I want to re-watch Yasui's combo. If he connects Q off of ulti, does, is that a kill? Did he miss? Or does he not have Q? He missed. If it hit, it should be a kill, yeah. Yeah, that, he's for sure dead. I mean, if you're good at least, then you never miss RQ. Ever. Oh yeah, that one's yeah. hard. But yeah, like it, the the more you practice them, the better you can get at it. I feel like it's not pretty hard to hit actually it. hit the exact spot because you don't know exactly where they're gonna land always. You can get a general idea, but uh oh. Okay. Oh. You see, Dig is is getting melted. Dig is getting melted. Ooh, pretty nice rumble ult. Yeah, good show. was in the middle of the fucking they have, whole world. They're out of fucking damage. <laughs> out yeah. of juice. No juice left in the tank. Oh. Wow. Aced basically back to back. Basically, I know, guys. Aced. I think we. I would actually be curious to ask, like, Best Lee's, maybe like Rush. Can you react? And I think you can, but you're really? saying it's, it's inconsistent. But I think you can react to the way that you like your ult angle basically like you don't need to know exactly where to position your cursor before you kick but as you're kicking i think you reposition your cursor and you like re-aim your q and you can hit 100 of the time 100 i don't 
think it's 100 percent. if you practice enough i think you can hit 100 percent of the time because all it takes is a slight re like just aiming right you're just aiming your q on someone who's being kicked away from you i'm not i'm not sure it may be Cause that, like that, that's one of those things that even the really good Lee Sins, like the one tricks and stuff, like you'll still see them miss it like a decent amount. Not often, but hmm. I, like I, you still see it. I'm, I'm watching maybe it that's again. Like being a, maybe that's being unrealistic. It's I, well, cause, like, it, it seems it, pretty hard. Oh no, so like wa watch the one at 23.32. Okay. Just check it because perks flashes, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I know you can mash flash after the kick, and I know the timing. Let's see. 23-32. Wait, what? 25-32. Dude, Yasui is like just flash bad. Q? Like, pre-shoot your Q, Yasui, yeah. Yasui is just bad. Don't, guys, you cannot defend this. This is the easiest Q of his life. Don't no, even but... pretend that you... I would hit this Q 100% well, no, he, he, he doesn't. He he doesn't. He doesn't miss. He just... No, fucking but like, shoots it too guys, late. he's got the grandpa mechanics. Like he, he has war jump flash kick. Like ask any pro player here if they would miss this Q. He has R flash. There's minions too misses. that he kills. No, I think you hit this every time, man. When you when you see your kick go off, when you see the R, when you see your kick flash go off, you throw Q. It hits every time. He's just so slow. He could have thrown it like a full second sooner. It's actually hard. I think it's hard. I... Like like when, when you're adjusting around them. With yeah. the R flash, I, I I'm not saying it's impossible, but it's mm -hmm. it's pretty fucking hard to tell exactly where they're gonna go, especially okay. if they're moving. Like it, even on target dummy, it's like not that easy. It's hard, but if you're getting paid a shit ton to play, I don't know, the game, man. I don't know, man. I like... think you should hit this. I think this one look like I, there's like hard ones, right? But the one where you kick flash and you know a hundred percent how the kick is gonna be angled. Dude, You're kick flashing, guys. Like you know exactly how it's gonna. I happen. think you gotta give Yusui some leeway here. Look at the fucking menu, way, bro. The cannon is in Perch's ass cheek as he kicks him. Wait, wait, wait. Which one of you guys? But then, but then, why did Yusui kick him like that? Because he's kicking to rumble. He's, well, what's he's the game time on it? Twenty-five thirty-two. Look, guys. This one I think is really inexcusable. He could kick him. I don't think so. I in think any this is... in any direction and flash any direction. He hits the R. He R flashes and he presses Q after. It is not hard. If the if okay, like in your example, right? If the Q hits the cannon minion, oh well. But yeah, it's, it's I, like I think Yusui, in this, in this is situation like he could do it. Hold on, I'm it's saying, like I'm not saying he can't. Yeah. He, he he just like there's a cannon minion literally in the start of it in the way like he's definitely gonna hesitate because of that. I, and, I think and he could have got a much minion. better angle on the kick like toward the turret. Okay, okay, okay. here here's logic. Like in if the you his throw turret. the Q right away, if yeah. you throw the Q right away, there's a chance it might hit. There's also a chance it might glitch out on the cannon minion. Adapting to it and trying to pick it up themselves, it, it'll take a long while because the team that is doing that unique thing found it in their own way and like it is hard to apply it all the time but yeah that is how like leap evolves for sure yeah it changes everyone's mind about Dude, how is about triple things. three levels up on pobelter what the fuck happened i don't know but triple has like showmaker level cs with the blanc yeah right? he's got that's what, insane 11? amount of farm on the blanc CS too. she's not particularly good at farming no she's i mean yeah it's fucking hard to perfect farm blanc that's actually like insane. Wave player is easy. Like I know, um, I know one concept that we picked up in 2018 was, uh, I'm done counting. The concept of defending areas even when someone's dead. So like, say, uh, you lose, you know, just one member on your team. Like, you don't have to give up everything, everything. to the enemy team. Yeah. Like, you don't just let them walk in your jungle. Like I was playing against, uh, Gen G. Like Core was on the team. I think they killed our jungler or something and we literally just abandoned our entire bot side and i like i watched <laughs> it on spectator like i didn't really notice in game but i watched an spectator i'm just like watching them literally run through our entire jungle face checking everything and i'm like these guys are so killable doing what they're doing like i think we actually have to make sure we're sitting on these points even when we're dead so that they can't just take over everything and choke us out and, mm -hmm. and that's yeah, like make, make them commit five people for that at least yeah exactly like, otherwise they just yeah this is something I was able to learn and pick up, and that's like, you know, it 
it'll carry over into our gameplay and then like if we can show that to other people that that's the right way to play when someone dies then that yeah, carries over into more people a, a lot of times too it's like depending on the strength of your team y y even if a team is using these concepts against you like weaker teams won't usually understand what's happening like mm -hmm. they, they don't understand why things work the way they do yeah that's what i've noticed quite a bit because it's true I, I think just trying to find the concepts that are like the, the most true in the game all the time it leads you to you know making the Ooh. best decisions Kuma had a nasty stopwatch uh value here holy fuck oh my god you know what i really hate up. i hate when a team is getting a free kill on one side oh. and the other side just runs it down yeah <laughs> oh shit they actually lose oh, that. speaking wow, of running it down they actually win that i i still think that clg needs to look at that again and just think we're getting Kumo for free. We're going to kill him, and it's going to be a 5v4. Why does Broxa and Finn need to walk up and die? At yeah, night? yeah. Right, like, it's such an unnecessary play when you're that ahead and you're getting a free kill. It's like they're not connected to the play. Yeah, it's like, yeah, we're, kill we're you're only killing this guy for free if everyone is playing that like you're killing him for free. But Finn, I'm going to watch him here. He, he just goes he just in. Goes Why? In, yeah. Why? They can just play block. Like, don't let yeah. them come in. Just relax, man. You, you, just because their top laner killed himself doesn't mean you have to, too. It's like, you don't need to, like, fucking do Simon Says. Run it down. <laughs> they still win, so... It doesn't seem that bad, but I think the habit, the thought process, I cannot follow. Mm -hmm. Varus is kind of more damage against those champs, because <clears throat> he's percentage. Do you mean Varus versus po uh, on hit or like Varus versus another champ? No, no, champ? just like poke Varus versus the other AD carries that are played in that role. So like Jin is kind of becoming meta, but like let's take him out of the equation and just talk about like Kai'Sa, Tristana. Those champs like all kind of suck at killing Leo. I think Leo's just kind of exceptionally tanky. Yeah, she, she's tanky. It'd be like trying to kill Alistar as anyone. Like yeah. he's going to die think, by the same rate. I think Varus is good against those champs. Just in my experience, like, Varus has, like, great interaction against, like, melee su supports. Because he's fucking obnoxious poking you, and when you poke Alistar to half, uh, he can't go in. He is a cow. We'll see. Well, I think in standoffs like why this... Why do you think the poke Varus loses more than he wins, then? I don't know. That's a good question. Part part of it is probably just that um, the better teams have an answer to it and they're willing to give it over. Oh my oh. god! It triples damage, dude. It was Sarah's Brock actually? Yeah. I mean, you can't go in anymore, right? Oh. They're still gonna go. Kumo's one HP. The oh. got it. HP. Live fam. Such a chaotic fight. It's still 4v4. <laughs> oh, the TP mid. Oh. That's so big. That's so big. He's going to kill everyone. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, oh he got your oh, get him, get him. son. Damn. I think, yeah, Olaf's oh. dead for sure. That TP was so fat. Yeah. Level 16 LeBlanc. Fly can uh, probably Turtle get... needed to flash. They can probably get Baron. Yeah, it's a little sketchy with Jin, but I think they get it, yeah. No, you're it's it's for sure. I don't even know they why they have, Finn they've up in a sec. Yeah, it's it's not contestable, is it? Oh my god. I don't think so. It's not dying, it's because of Jin, man. Jin's just so trash. Uh, they okay, can kill it, they can kill it. They now. Okay, finally. Damage. Wait, Kuma's 030. <laughs> He's carrying. <laughs> He's definitely not useless. Like, he got targeted in that dragon fight there. Yeah. He got, like, lissulted. This is the intro. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, Finn has. Counting. Finn has wit's end set. Yeah, I saw that. There's no way that's oh, right. That's fucking strange. What the? Who? That has to be extremely wrong. Extremely squishy. Kind of reminds me of Bork set. 
when it was like, yeah, it's so oh good. yeah, dude. I'm killing, and it's like, oh, but dude, I so I dead. hated Bork set. I'm like, bro, yeah. why don't you just build Cleaver? You're actually too squishy to be involved in anything more than a one v one. Yeah. Like, yeah, you win a one v one, and that's it. Congrats. <laughs> Are we winning the game off your one v one? You're like, you're not a split pusher. You're not gonna smash turrets. Yeah. I think it's just the beginning of set though, like trying to figure out how to play them. Mm -hmm. Did they not pay attention? They didn't pay attention. To they did not. Yeah, hard to see with their camera angles. Yeah, they they they're just but the the dead person, right? That's wow. like oh yeah, ideally. When you die in game, you need to stay alive IRL so you yeah. can call stuff like this to keep you here. Run, run, run. Damn, triple played really that help. really well. That angle on turtle was pretty dirty, and didn't yeah. die for that. Yeah. He's with got level max... 16 death cap LeBlanc with Void already. This is just he's so fu he can fucking one shot anybody with QRE. Oh, oh my god, the Gwyn. needle work. Needle in a haystack. That's so much damage, man. Melee, by the way. My my chat says Brasa won the ARM earlier, so I think we're good. <laughs> oh shit. What did he play? He played Olaf. Legit? No. That would oh, be hilarious. That would have been funny. Oh! <laughs> hey, Pope, he's level 16, homie. Uh, One that, that looks close, but he ran out of damage, like, right there. It was not that close. Yep. What do you think happens when the death cap comes off cooldown? Uh, Holy I don't know. fuck, that's when it gets real. <gasps> what if, what if, it, yeah, Alex, it was inactive and you used the death cap and you put on a hat in game? Dude. He is, but like, if he doesn't ever fight you, how do you yeah. kite him? He just fights yeah. your towers. <laughs> it's true. Like, I think Fiora. It, I, was, I agree that that's why he's not. I think not... Fiora was like bullshit in that same way when she was meta. It's just like, oh, cool, we're losing the game against Fiora or Trindamir. It's like, cool. Uh, I don't get to play the game. I, we just lose our base, and I'm like, I, if I go long on him, they never die. I don't know. Feels sad. This game feels so giga lost for CLG, even though they're only two kiggled down. Uh oh. Cleanse? Homo has cleanse, Poe Belter. He has cleanse, bro. Oh. Homo is dead. Oh, it doesn't matter. Brox has got that. Zoom! Oh, he's zooming. No he way. Is he out? Oh my it. god. Dude, that's Broxa's so sad for Broxa. It. Holy fuck. Homo actually gets out there just about from running at 700 move speed. <laughs> Is that fucking hilarious right there? Uh oh, uh oh. Oh god, Wait, Tomo, no! Ah! Oh, Tomo. <laughs> oh, CLT is Tomo. face palming. Dude, Triple is fucking popping off this weekend. Did they not end because of that? I mean, he was really far anyway, I guess. Yeah. I'm going to reserve judgment. Um, yeah, they don't end. It's like, it's like pretty fucked up to be like... This guy's the second coming of Jesus, and then like you know he has a bad weekend. It's like haha, he already sucks. But like he's been yeah he's been doing really well. And yesterday he still killed Perks had a great Lucian game. Um, coming straight from Academy, I think the top of Academy people should should be more willing to import teams and not like not uh individuals I guess. Yeah. If you're I, if you're in the I middle would of love bottom. To see that. Yeah. Can you guys remember, remember any other example? I, I'm trying to I'm trying to think like when is it when is another time a team just straight imported their their uh, academy team into LCS, just copy pasted it? When you say import, you don't mean from another region. Not import, but like you know swap okay. academy and LCS fully. Yeah, uh, it's, it's been rare. That's yeah. happened. Yeah. C C9 did it. That did, did not go it. so hot. When I but was you guys had like star players, so it's hard to beat that. Yeah, it's a little different. Triple played that so well. You see that? W, yeah. w back, like bait some CD, go in again. The guy's. The guy seems not bad. Like, I think Poke Varus is like in that Zig territory where if he's getting pressured, he can farm without any problems. Because you have uh -huh. infinite mana with tier, and you have a shit ton of range and wave clear. But you can play around him. It's just like an option, right? Like, And the fact that he's pushing, it always feels really shitty to gank when your bot lane is getting pushed in because like unless you kill them you just walk up 
you maybe blow a flash, but you show and it feels hard because they might have it warded. You might not actually get anything. It's, I don't know. I think it's, it's really good. It's not as easy as just like, just push lane and win the game. But I think it, it's just a really high tier pick because it's just, it's like a very well balanced pick. It has CC, has good damage. The only thing I would say it doesn't have is scaling. But... Uh-huh. I think with Poke Varus, like playing for soul is really good too. Cause like you can transfer that bot prio into something that gives you scaling. Like that an early soul is a way to combat like your scaling issues that you might have. Yeah, yeah, that's true too. If you funnel your turtle, so happy you got fucked. I I do. Yeah, turtle actually had a dude. Honestly, he was like really ahead. No, he was like sixty six ahead, but he had a good game. He's smiling because he's like, man, my team is fucking dog shit. But at least I had fun. (laughs) Why did he just throw water on triple? That wasn't water. I don't know. That was cum. Oh! Okay. Jesus Christ. All right. I'm losing too many brain cells talking to you guys. I'm out. What the fuck? Yeah, me too, guys. I cannot stand this one more second. You're not that guy, pal. All right, right, I guess. See you guys next time. I guess. Later.